Hi, Nancy Spears with GenConnect.com, and today I'm talking to Dr. Lisa Iron. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Great, thanks. So in this, in this modern time, women want to uh, preserve their youth. We want to look the same. Ten years later, from when, you know, from 30 to 40, we want to look the same. Do you have any tips on um, how we can defy age and um, maintain our youthful appearance? Well, the good news is that there are a lot of things we can do now, especially if you start when you're 30. And it's better to start early instead of waiting till a certain point in your mind when you think you're ready and then trying mm -hmm. to turn back the clock. So looking ahead is, is much easier for me as a, an aesthetic dermatologist. And many of the things that we do that have to do with prevention, I can list the top three things. One is, um, doing Botox early is preventative because it prevents you from getting the lines and wrinkles which would normally form and make you look older. Mm -hmm. The other category is some type of injectable filler or combination of injectable fillers along the way. So as you're slowly losing volume, we're slowly replacing it. Mm -hmm. So people wouldn't necessarily know that you were 10 years older at some point because as you're aging, we're slowly working with you to add back the volume into your face that, that you're losing. And the other thing, the third category of prevention is in the skincare category. And I cannot stress to you how important it is to wear a sunblock because sun damage is really aging. And people that spend a lot of time in the sun and don't take the time to put on a sunblock and protect themselves from the sun, you really see the difference in their in their age. And another environmental factor, of course, is smoking, although it seems like a lot less people are smoking these days than than they used to, but smoking is also an environmental factor which really causes the skin to look bad and suffocates the skin. Hmm. In terms of the things that I do, so you would be coming to me, first of all, to get the advice about the sunblocks, secondly, <laughs> to so that I could advise you on where to inject the Botox and when to start injecting different areas or adding in different areas. So for example, in the younger patient, we may only inject them across the brow and that's to prevent the norm, the number 11 lines in between the brow and mm -hmm. help to keep the brow in its normal position. But as time went on, we might add the crow's feet. We might add the lower face because there's a triangularly shaped muscle here, uh, which actually pulls the mouth corners down, making you look like you have a sad face. And we can stop that from happening. And it's not very noticeable. Like people don't notice when you have the Botox in the lower face, but it does help to prevent both the mouth corner coming down and the loss of volume in that area of the face. And then the other area we can slowly start to add is in the neck because the neck muscles pull down the whole, whole posterior jawline and that creates a jowl here. So mm -hmm. if you, if you start doing Botox in your neck younger, that can also help the face and neck aging to be prevented. And then, like I said, there's a whole category of fillers available that we can use now, including the newest one, which is my current favorite, which is platelet-rich plasma. And what that is, is where we actually draw a patient's blood, we spin the blood, and we re-inject the concentrated platelets and plasma underneath the skin. And what that does is actually help the skin to rejuvenate itself. So not only do you get an improvement in the loss of volume in certain areas, especially surrounding the mouth, but you also get an improvement in the texture of that area. And until now, none of the synthetic fillers have really helped that much with textural improvement compared to injecting a patient's own platelets. So every year there's a new development that's really exciting in, in the field of aesthetic dermatology. So that's so fascinating. So maintenance is really a science. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to do it. It's my job. It's my, you just have to come in and then I'll do the evaluation and let you know everything that's new and where we should start and what our plan is for, you know, one year, five years or long-term goals in terms of your skin health and, and what we can do to prevent aging and help you stay looking 10 years younger. <laughs> Sounds great to me. Terrific. Thank you so much. So you can uh, see Dr. Lisa. You can find her at drlisairon.com or at genconnect.com. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you.